today, friends. Take delight, take comfort, take courage, take confidence, take peace, take hope, take power, take freedom, take joy, take rest, and take strength in knowing that you are complete. I'm Ingrid Carlson. This is Kara Tutti, and we are on day 20. I can't believe we're already 20 days in of our December daily, a sprinkle of tidings of God's affirmations to store in your heart. I am so glad that you are here today, and I just want to thank you for that. Let's go ahead and get started with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for everyone that is here listening to this video tonight. And I pray that you cover them in the blood of Jesus and keep them protected. I pray that you send your angels to surround them and allow no evil to go anywhere near them, Lord. I pray for all the prayers that are in our hearts, that you just listen and that you can show up in a big way. I pray for healing. I pray for financial freedom. I pray for peace. I pray for comfort. And Lord, how you have promised in your word that you have already set the path for us and that when we rely on you, that all things will be good for those who are called according to your purpose. Lord, I thank you so much for every blessing, those even those that we don't see as blessings and how you turn them and you turn every situation for your glory. Lord, I pray that as we get started in your word, that your words just fill our hearts so that when we are out in the world, we can practice that and that you can shine through us. It's in Jesus's awesome name we pray. Amen. And today I wanted to stress that not only do you have strength with this verse, but there is so much power in these words. We are looking at Colossians 2, 9 through 10. And today I accidentally got the NIV version. So usually I use ESV. So if you're a little confused, that's what it is. But it reads, for in Christ All the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and in Christ you have been brought to fullness. The ESV version reads, For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have been filled in him who is the head of all rule and authority. So step back and think of it in this manner for a second. Imagine that your dad is the king of England. And everything in his reach is in your reach and anything that he can provide is given to you. Now multiply that by a million and that is what we have is we have the creator of all things that is giving you authority. And that is authority over all things, whether it is financial instability, whether it's illness, whether it's pain, anxiety, fear, whatever it is, Jesus has already conquered it. So you can take that affirmation with you today and know that there is nothing that has not already been conquered. And all you need to do is lay it at his feet. The thing is that in the world, this reality of spiritual wickedness seems so oppressive and real. But Paul is here triumphantly declaring the absolute supremacy of Christ because he says that the fullness of deity, which means God's divine nature, is shared with Jesus. So this authority far supersedes any ruler, any authority anywhere found on earth or beyond. Christ has stripped away any enemy of rank or rule through his victory on the cross and his sacrificial death has discredited and disarmed any sinister authorities. So the great news for us today, friends, is that we can walk boldly without any fear. 
And let's not forget that one day, every knee will bow before him and that sin and death and the enemy will no longer be able to wield any rights over God's beloved children. And this isn't just an affirmation of hope, but it's also a weapon for you to have in your arsenal because you have that power in Jesus. And all you need to do is lay your worries at his feet. I hope that you were blessed by his word today. I know I was. I will go ahead and let you finish watching the process video and I will see you again tomorrow. Love you. Bye.